So, hi guys, uh, I'm joined by the Beast of War Rhodey, Dead Dave himself. He has came across for the, the Hawk War Games uh, Drop Zone Commander weekend, but while he's here, he's brought Forge World with him. And a ton of Forge World at that! Uh, I think you've brought a good chunk of your unbuilt collection, man. I have. I've, I've left stuff specifically, um, all in the boxes, unpot together, because I wanted to show it off. <laughs> right. So what, what's this first one you've brought in? Uh, it, today, it, with us now, we've got the Thanatar Class Siege Automata. Right. It's a big Mechanicum model. Okay, so this is for the, the Adeptus Mechanicum. Yep. So this, this isn't Space Marines, this isn't no, Imperial no, Guards. No, or, no, no, the Astro Militarum. Astro Militarum. Sorry, don't want to annoy anyone. So, uh, I assume this is extra bits. Yeah, that's all uh, ammo feeds and guns and... Yeah, all, all yeah. Crewmates. Okay, so let's push the book out of the way, because I've got Dave with the book open on the rules page, because 40k is something I've not looked at in years. So I, I'm going to be relying on you here. So if anything goes wrong in the rules, right. blame it's Dave. My, it's my fault. Blame Dave. Blame so the books. Blame the book. But you never blame the book. The the rules creators of this kind of thing are flawless exactly masters of their craft. My God, there's some big chunks in here. I'm not just going to pour it out because it is Forge World, and if I break this, Dave will murder me in my sleep. I am staying with you. Yeah. Yes, yes, Dave is, is currently crashing at my place, and I don't want to die. I don't, I don't want to wake up Dave just standing over me with a blade. It won't be a blade. No? <laughs> I'm, I'm not even going to ask, guys. Not even going to ask. Okay, we've got a ton of feet for this thing. Yeah, you've got different options how you can actually pose the stance. Right, so, well, let's crack straight into it. So we'll push this out of the way. So we have the, the feet for these things. These are big, heavy, clunky feet that we've got here. So I assume they're all numbered to go different ways then, yeah? Yeah, you've got your right one, left one, left two, right one, and right two. Yeah, well, it, it's Forge World. It's, it's incredibly detailed, done in the nice resin that they always use. And you've got, what, three different pose options, yeah? So uh, Actually, two of these are spares from my old one, actually. I just left them clipped out because I hadn't made my mind up on the other one. You lazy bugger. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, so you get two choices for the feet pose. You'll have ones with slightly with the toes bent as if it looks like it's about to step or is stepping. Uh -huh. And then you've got just the stack standing dead flat. Okay, grand, grand. Okay, uh, we then come along to the main body. This thing is cool. It's... I don't know how to exactly describe the design of it because it doesn't really echo anything of old earth. No. You know, because a lot, a lot of the 40k stuff, you'll have echoes of Old Earth in it, so be it Roman, Asian, whatever. The thing is, because it's the Tag Mountain Army, yeah. it's all Mars, so they've yeah. been isolated for thousands of years, they've mm -hmm. definitely gone their own direction in their technology. Yeah, yeah. I, I love this big ammo box, just slot it up the side. Mm. But if you notice, there's actually slight little details that actually hark back to the Space Marine Army, because at the end of the day, the Mechanical made all the Space Marines Army. Uh -huh. There's actually little nodules there on the back of the Space Marine backpacks. Uh-huh. So, see them? Oh yeah, so the, the little vents. Yeah. So well, there'll be little... You have a, a built version of this, so you'll get a better look at that, but yeah, you can see the the little venting piece from the back of the Space Marine backpack there. Yeah, that's very cool. And then of course you have the, the cog symbol of the Mechanicum on the front. It's really nice. It's actually a really... Re okay. You know what I find? What's always there? There's a skull. Yeah, a human skull. <laughs> there just there, there has to be a skull somewhere. It wouldn't be thirty or forty k without skulls. No, no, it would not. Okay, I so, want to say one more thing about it. I love the faces on these. Yeah, just the blank. It is like mm. there is no soul. It is just a killing machine. Yes, uh, yes, it's just walking forth to destroy you. So it's not like the space marine where you've actually got a little emotion on the helmets even. Mm. Okay, uh, next up, I assume this is its main armor. That's armament. the gun. That is the hell is this? The Helix Plasma Mortar. Helix. Plasma. It's basically eight heavy plasma cannons bolted together. Yeah, because uh, around the side here you can actually see that that normal venting you get on plasma guns. So it Is looks it eight or six. Uh, I think it's seven because you've got a central core yeah. one here. But the design is absolutely flawless. You've got a bit of a big vent at the back here, but that is a big vent. That's the only thing I will say with four draw stuff. Their vents are ridiculous. Yeah, but I, I suppose you get used to working with them. You learn. You learn. Never clip too close to the model itself, mm. otherwise you get snaps and breakages. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we then have, I'll assume, I have no that idea is, what is this component. That's part of the uh, lower abdomen. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's part of the lower abdomen. Okay, so basically this slots up, uh, perhaps like so? 
possibly I think. Other, possibly the other way around. Possibly the other way around. Well, uh, we'll see the belt one, but no, even, even in this, you've got so many cool little details of just piping, wiring, everything that would actually make the thing run. Yeah, it's, it's what I like about Ford Word. They actually make it look believable. Yeah, it looks like it's actually a functional piece of kit. Yeah. Okay, uh, we've also got, I'll assume these are for the legs. Yep. So, not sure how these go on, because I've, I've never actually built Ford Word. I well, tell a lie, I built one thing. Mm -hmm. I got a Death Corps of Creed Commissar. Yeah, because I love Death Corps of Creed. They're just a really cool. They're fact. a beautiful army. Yeah, they're beautiful. You know, for something that's meant to be. I think this is the lo the lower desert. calves. This is the calf area. Okay. So you okay. have your upper thigh and your feet on the bottom of it. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's clean, it's crisp, it's forward -word. It's you, chunky. It's it's <laughs> chunky, and when you have it built, it actually feels like you have something on the tabletop. You know, it's it's one thing I, I miss with some of the, the companies that have transferred to plastic resin and stuff that used to do metal. Mm. I used to love just having a big heavy lump of metal yeah. whap down on the tabletop. I've always been like with my old the old second edition dreadnoughts. Mm -hmm. I've still got my metal ones. They're yeah. a big chunky thing, you can throw them at people if you really want to do. But Yeah. Oh no, no I still have uh, my first venerable dreadnought, you remember the oh, big metal yeah. one with the big slab yeah. size on it, yeah. beautiful thing. All right, uh, this last piece, uh, what is this? That's the upper thigh. Okay. That's the upper thigh, so this just links together to make sure the pelvis area, or... Yep. Cool. And again, just chock full of detail absolutely everywhere. Now, that's not all. We have another bag of bits. Another Dave, bag of you bits. pass that to me, we'll, uh, we'll crack that open. Get in there. Yeah, let's, uh, let's just get a handful, because this is all smaller bits. No. Hey. There we go. So, this is something that actually jumped out at me really, really quickly for this. The ammo the, feeds. The, the two ammo feeds, because... They are incredibly casted because they're they're looping back on themselves. Yeah. They're actually they actually join together. They join which together, is, which is, causes a bit of an issue because, as with most Ford World ammo feeds, you have to bend them to shape to fit around the model. So All you right, have, you so, have to glue so them together this, first. The, uh, but they've, they've done a, maybe eighty percent of the work for you with the bend already being there. You'd be surprised how much you have to bend them still. Really, that is not where they need to be. Okay, so th this is a well, it's Ford World. You expect a hefty project. Yeah. But again, they're really nice and really chock full of detail. You know, and it, I assume this is coming down out of that, that nice back ammo feed. It comes feed. out of the back ammo feed and it yeah. goes around into the Mauler bolter. Yeah, Mauler. Which you've just picked up. Which I've just picked up. What the hell is a Mauler bolter? A Mauler bolter is basically like a, it's, it's a better version of a normal heavy bolter. Okay. It's stronger and it's got better AP. Okay. So it's, it's basically bigger guns are better. Well, what it is, the Mechanicum keep all the best weapons for themselves. They've just everything a Space Marine has on him is Mechanicum made. Mm. The Mechanicum keep all the best for themselves. Get, <laughs> you know, humanity's dying out in the the forty first millennium, and they've got all the cool bits just hidden away in the back shed. But they're having all their own battles as well. True. You've got to think they're all always at each other's throats all the time. Mm. It's very cutthroat. Yeah. So that's your Muller Bolter. Uh, moving on through, we're getting on to some of these smaller details now. I'll assume this is just extra little pistons and stuff. Yeah, these like somewhere. pistons that go around the legs and stuff. It's it's meant to look like stabilizers on the legs because mm. this thing's meant to be a big siege thing. It'll walk forward, stand still, do its firing, mm. get moving again. Yeah. And then we have two massive venting pieces. I assume this is around the back somewhere. That, these that is for the arms. That's the ball joints on the oh, arms right. into the shoulders. All right. I, I, okay. It's a good job I'm not building this because I would have guessed that was like the, the vents off the back of a Space Marine no, pack because no. it's a very similar shape. Okay. Uh, I assume this is a guard and part of the mount for your uh, uh, Yep. That's, the, that's, where, that's the, the guard for the plasma mortar. Mm -hmm. And that's just part of the items that hold it in place on the back. Yeah, the, the, the mounting pins. Yep. Grand. We then have lots more little pistons and stuff. Yeah, all around the legs again. Yeah, th this is, there's a lot to this kit, guys. It's a very hefty project. Uh, we then have, I have no idea what these are. They go around the outside of the plasma mortar to give it detail around uh, all these little bits. Ah, uh, so these would be the, the little ammo containers that you would they're see on the normal like, one. Yeah, they like the things they screw into them, but obviously on a much yeah. bigger scale. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, we then have... More parts for in and around the body. There, um, there's two arm parts and... What is that final part? That is the crotch. <laughs> the crotch. <laughs> that is the crotch plate. Okay, the crotch plate. <laughs> plate. Does, it, does it have a butt flap? I don't believe it does, <laughs> which I'm quite disappointed about now. <laughs> uh, let's see, more mechanical bits and gubbins here. That's the uh, claws for the hands. Ah, I see. Yeah, I actually was having a look at the belt version and you're actually able to pose them quite nicely yeah. to actually... What I imagine them is going like is like forklift mm. handles or like a power loader. Yeah, 
Yeah. Only with four fingers on. So I assume this is same again, is it? Yep. Yep. Same again. Because they come in two halves. So ah, I see. I see. And then last little bits of mechanical gubbins and an armor plate. And finally, is this parts of the arm? That, yeah, that's more parts of the arm. More parts of the arm. All right, Dave, you have a built version with you. Yes, I do. Shall I bring it out? You bring bring it, bear boy whip, out? whip it out for us. I'll whip it right out. All right. So, here we are. Ta-da! That's you, a lovely oh, looking you had, model. You've actually done it. I've left it so that can come off so I can paint it easier. Ah, it just, clever boy. It, it just clicks out. Oh. So, so. Ah, right. You can actually get to all the detail then. Mm -hmm. No, very clever. Very clever. Well, I mean, I've seen some of your painted stuff. It is quite nice. But this is an absolute monster of a piece. You know, it's it's big, it it's heavy, it's brutal. It's the only way to describe it. It is a brutal war machine. And you can actually see where all the gribbly bits go now. Yeah, you really can, because you've got down and around the hands, you can see they've got that, that sort of power loader feel to them. And then, yes, down and around the crotch, more bits and gubbins that have went up and around here. Oop, that has popped off. Yeah, so do I take that to the side? Yeah, just so I don't end up dropping it and getting murdered. Uh, we then, yeah, I see what you mean about these ammo feeds now. Because so like you I compare... Bring, yeah, if I bring one of them back in, because it's, yeah, there's quite the change there's to quite it. quite a bend like there. That yeah. was quite a difficult bend. Yeah, so you've actually went from here and had to put a hell of a lot more of a bend Boiling on water. That, that particular point. <laughs> boiling water. Yeah. I'll which look... you, you're absolutely afraid. Mm. You're like, you're pointing in boiling water, this is a very expensive mold and you're like, you're melting it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you hope you're softening it. <laughs> but the amount of detail in around the legs and stuff and yeah. these stabilizers that you were talking about, yeah, I can't imagine those now just as this stops. All things going. Yeah, they, they pop down out and back to dig it in like one of the old uh, anti-tank guns you would see from World War II. It is absolutely brilliant. This is a massive kit. I love it. Absolutely love it. And I see what you mean about the, the feet. So you've got this one as if it's just, just about up step. and off. Yep. And then, yeah, and then the bits we were talking about earlier, see here, just at the side of the engine pod, that's where you have your, your little Space Marine. That's a nod to the Space Marine backpack. Yeah, yeah. But unlike the, the Space Marine pack, but these are all nuclear, rea these are all like more reactors. Right. That's why they've actually gone specifically for their own look, and mm. you'll find on all the Mechanicum models, that they have this circular kind of reactor look. Right, so they, they have a completely different power generation yep. system. Different. Because at the end of the day, Space Marine is a biological being, so he has to have a certain amount of... Yeah. You can't just have radiation going through them. Some of the mechanical models, they're fully radiated. Right. So what's this thing going to do in game? Oh, this thing. Because I, I imagine it's a monster on the table. Yeah, it's 240 points. Okay. Which I think for what it is, is cheap. Bargain. It's got weapon skill 3. Uh-huh. Ballistic skill 4. Mm -hmm. So it's hitting on 3s. Mm -hmm. Strength 8, toughness 8. Youch. So, I mean, this is as strong as a Wraith Lord. Yeah, how many wounds has it got? Four wounds. That's going to take a bit of killing. Yeah, it's going to take some killing. Two, two plus initiative, but this guy's meant to hang back and just fire at everything. Uh, two attacks. Again, hand, uh, initiative two, that's low, so he's that's very low. slow he's in very combat. Slow in okay, combat. sorry, it's that long since I've looked at it. Mm. Two attacks, obviously he's, he's a siege unit, and they shouldn't be an attack, but he can defend himself. Leadership eight, mm -hmm. so not great. Two plus save. Two plus save. So it's a to terminate over toughness eight. Yeah. Yeah, it's me. That's that, that's very nasty. You've got to bring heavy weapons to bring this guy down. Yeah, you're, you're going to have to focus on him, and you have two of them. Mm. You know, so I, I assume whenever you're playing, you can you're... have them in groups of three. What? <laughs> so what, they'll, they'll only take up one slot of your army. Oh, no, you, up to four additional. Up. You can have five. You can have a squad of five of these. Yes. <laughs> in your apocalypse games, it... and this isn't even apocalypse based. This is just the way the Horus Heresy games are. Yikes! This is that's... this is not this is just Horus Heresy rules. Yeah, Every, but, uh, everything's big. Yeah, everything's big and chunky and killy and by the way, exterminatus. That's the only way I can think to describe it. That's disgusting. Mm. What about its gun? What exactly is it doing? Helix plasma war, shunning the crude shells favoured by most siege guns. The helix plasma war fires high density charges of a burning plasma in programmed trajectory arcs, timed to detonate over their targets. These air, bar, air bursts create rolling waves of incinerating energy which engulf the surrounding area, burning through anything they encounter. Uh, it sounds horribly killy. It's actually got two fire modes. Okay. There's not much between them. Uh, it's got a stationary one and a, a moving, and a moving okay. one. The stationary one is 12 inches to 48, so uh -huh. it can't fire anything nearer than 12 inches. Obviously, it may blow its own ass up. Yep. Uh, strength 8, yep. which is good. AP 2, good. Brilliant. But it's an ordnance one, so... Right. 
Big shell, barrage, large, large blast, five inch blast. Five inch blast? Five inch blast. So if you've got five of them all firing at once for five inch blast? Yeah, you, boom, 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 boom. yeah you're just nuking the table. Yep. And a plasma wave. Now, plasma wave is a new rule. Mm -hmm. Successful cover saves against this weapon must be re rolled. So if you get a cover save, yeah. you've got to re roll it. Yeah, because the thing might just burn through the cover and yeah. all. Yeah, it will just obliterate everything around it. Yeah. Scorched Earth, baby. And also, it's got the twin link mauler bolt cannon. Which is basically just a strength six heavy bar. That's, that's a strength six, nothing to turn your nose up at. 24 inch range, strength six, AP3, heavy three pinning. So it causes pinning, so. Always good. All right, guys, uh, that is our first piece of Forge World. Dave, do you want to say the name one last time? Because I cannot remember it. Thanatar Class Siege Automata. Well, that's that, guys. Uh, hopefully, you've enjoyed this look at Forge World. Uh, myself and Dave are going to be doing a few more, so stay tuned, and uh, we'll see you later.